Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this uh, picture and I, off of Facebook and I just made a copy and then I vectorized it. And if I understand them right, they want to put a cut line around the whole thing. There's really two ways you can do it. If you look, this is in two different pieces, or at least mine is, nine objects. I need to group it together for this to work and then go to effects and contour. But if we contour it now, you're gonna to have to do a lot of settings and this is what you're gonna get and that's not what we want. So I've got my nudge factor set on four inches or five. I'm gonna make a duplicate of that and nudge it over. And on this one, I'm gonna left click, right click and just get an outline. Then we're gonna uh, contour to the outside with rounded corners, just 0 0.05 of an inch. And that's what we're going to get. Now we're going to go to object, break contour apart, grab the contour and move it out of the way and we get that. But you see it's also got the in interior parts. Well, if you go up to, and if that's what you want, if you want to cut all that out, that's fine. If you just want it on the outside, go to break curve apart. So go to object, break curve apart. And then you can grab that axe and make it red so it's you know it's a cut line. And then you move it back. So that way you have a cut line. And if that's too far off your subject, you could contour again to the inside. Let's go like 0 0.04. That shouldn't be too large. Let me see if... Well, it's not too large. Let's go 0 0.01. There we go. I don't know how they think 0 0.04 is too much. But evidently it is. So let's try this. Let's go 0 0.01 three times. See what happens. And it works. Uh, so then what you, and it's a little bit rough, but you could uh, grab it all, go to object, break the contour part, and if you're, if you will just uh, place your mouse on the center, we probably need to go to group and ungroup it, and then grab the center one again, and then make it red, and then move it up and over and now look how close it is to the um, snake a little closer now and you could continue doing that now the other way i was going to suggest doing it and what i kind of like about it sometimes is when this was ungrouped and you've got nine objects you don't have to group it together to do this. You could just grab it all and use the boundary tool. Now move the boundary out of the way and it gives you that outline. Now we can take it and contour to the outside one time, 0 0.05. You know, just contour the outside. It's also doing the inside, but then go to object, break the contour apart grab that contour, same thing, go up to object, break, once you break curve apart, then if you'll just grab the outside and make it red by right clicking, you've got the exact same thing and you didn't have to group it together. And then if this is too large, you could still contour that again. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.